fasting children and the role of the parents in Islam. The practice and spirit of fasting should be ingrained in children so that it comes natural and effortless for them as they reach adulthood. The month of Ramadan is a time of excitement, socializing, and devotion, as we take care of the spiritual and social part of ourselves during this special month. It is important to remember to also focus some time on our children. They should not merely be on the sidelines, watching as all the events pass by they should instead be active and central players in all that occurs, and take advantage of this blessed time, just as it is an obligation for Muslim parents to teach their children how to perform prayers. It is also expected of them to train their children regarding the importance, rules and etiquette of fasting. This is part of the overall education that children must gain from an early age. Fasting is one of the main pillars of Islam, and it is, therefore, a foundation for all other knowledge. For this reason, the practice and spirit of fasting should be ingrained in children so that it comes natural and effortless for them as they reach adulthood. Rather than presenting a list of suggestions, it may be useful to preview two very different scenarios of children during Ramadan, as you read through them. Think about which scenario you would prefer for your child, and also for yourself. The story of Mustafa, he is an 11-year-old Muslim boy who loves to play as any child does, during Ramadan. He enjoys the time that he has to socialize with cousins, friends, and neighbors. He especially likes the fact that he can stay awake longer than usual to enjoy the guests and food. He cannot wait for the Eid celebration because of the many gifts and the wonderful fun that he will have. Unfortunately, Mustafa has no really gotten into the fasting thing. He calls it, he feels that it is too difficult for him and that it will affect his studies. Many of his friends do not fast so, he does not think that it is necessary for him to do so either. There are even adult members of his household who do not fast. His uncle is the only family member who goes to the masjid for tayrai, night prayer. But Mustafa refuses to go with him because he says that it is too crowded. His parents have never encouraged him to fast or participate in this special prayer. They have not wanted to make it a hardship for their children. They do some reading of Quran, but it is not an integral part of the day. They focus on the fun aspects of Ramadan rather than the spiritual. As Mustafa reaches puberty, chances are that he will not fast during Ramadan as is required in the Islamic faith. He will miss out on that special opportunity to build a strong relationship with Allah, his creator. The beauty and peacefulness of Ramadan can never be surpassed, not even by the fun that Mustafa is enjoying so much. The even sadder news is that this puts both Mustafa and his parents in a very precarious position because Allah will judge them for the choices they have made.